Hello everyone and welcome to our combined middle and senior school chapel service. The theme for today's service is hope. The Lord be with you. And also with you. In our scripture sentence today, the Apostle Paul tells us, let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering and persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and extend hospitality to strangers. We will now read the school prayer. Lord, this is our school. Let peace dwell here. Let the rooms be full of contentment. Let love abide here. Love of one another, love of humankind, love of life itself, and love of God. May we always remember that as many hands make a house, so many hearts make a school. Thank you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. The second reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Rejoice in hope. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, or be ardent in spirit and serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far, it is as it depends on you. Live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Now, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. In today's reflection, I'd like to share a story with you. It's a story called The Four Candles. The author of this story is actually unknown. Four candles burned slowly. The ambience was so soft you could hear them speak. The first candle said, I am peace, but these days the world is full of anger and fighting. Nobody wants to keep me alight. The flame of peace went out. The second candle said, I am faith. I am no longer indispensable, so it doesn't make sense that I stay alight another moment. Faith's flame slowly diminished and went out completely. Sadly, the third candle spoke, I am love. People don't understand my importance, so they simply put me aside. They even forget to love those nearest to them. I haven't the strength to stay alight. And waiting no longer, love's flame went out. Suddenly, a child entered the room and saw that the three candles were no longer burning. The child began to cry. Why are you not burning? You are supposed to stay alight forever. Then the fourth candle spoke gently to the child. Don't be afraid, for I am hope. And while I still burn, we can relight the other candles. With shining eyes, the child took the candle of hope and lit the other three candles. This story reminds us how important it is to have hope. Sometimes this can be really hard, particularly when the world can seem so hopeless. It feels like we are consistently hearing news of doom and gloom. The many hardships created by COVID, the conflict that exists in many parts of the world 
and the discrimination and violence towards the vulnerable and less fortunate. It can be difficult to see how there can be any hope for a bright future. The, under the underlying message of our story is that there is hope. Hope as individuals, as communities and as a world. It is important that we look for reasons to be hopeful. We should always be encouraged by the good things that happen in our world. There are many good news stories out there. They are stories of peace, faith and love. And I encourage each of you to search out these stories and to share them. In our first reading from Jeremiah, we hear of the Lord's plan for us, plans for hope and a future. A positive statement that we should not lose sight of. There is hope. Upon further investigation into this passage from the prophet Jeremiah, I learned something pretty important. Jeremiah was calling out the lies of a false prophet when he made this promise to the Israelites, who at the time were in exile. And the promise was about God's plan for them to prosper. What is interesting is that Jeremiah also reminded the Israelites that in order for them to prosper, they would have to persevere through many trials and that yes, it would be difficult, but it would be worth it in the end. And for the Israelites, that end was freedom from exile. The second reading from Paul's letter to the Romans talks about rejoicing in hope. It asks us to let love be genuine, to hold fast to what is good, to be patient in suffering, to extend hospitality, to rejoice with those who rejoice, to weep with those who weep, to live in harmony with each other, to live in peace, to not be overcome by evil, but to overcome evil with good. This passage is a great reminder how even in times of hopelessness, our actions can be powerful, positive messages of hope. I think it's fair to say that we are persevering through some tough times right now. But in the midst of the suffering, we need to persevere with the confidence that hope will prevail.
prayers. Let's bow our heads for prayer. For our community, that we may be united in faith, hope, peace and love. God of love, hear yeah. our prayer. For our school, that we as a learning community might always help each other to feel safe and valued and to have positive learning experiences. God of love, hear our yeah. prayer. For all those students who feel overwhelmed by all that is being required of them, in particular our year 12s, as they prepare for, all, for their exams, may they perceive with hope, direct them to use their time and talent wisely. God of love, yeah. hear our prayer. For our teachers, that they might always feel refreshed and prepared as they strive to teach us everything that we know. God of love. Hear yeah. our prayer. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father Amen. in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive those who sin again, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.